Hey everyone, Maximilian here, and I wanted to do a little, uh, quick sketchbook video. Um, this first one's gonna consist of a drawing of El Forte I actually did back in 2008. And believe it or not, this is three years ago I had this footage and I never really did anything with it. Uh, it was for, I think, the Capcom art contest before Street Fighter 4 was out. But beyond that, the reason I wanted to put up this was a little, uh, a little something for the folks that were originally watching the, uh, the first Assist Me with Doctor Doom. I had a drawing of mine of Strider that I featured in the show because I didn't have any other imagery to go in. And um, people seem mildly interested in, in checking out a little bit more of my artwork because I haven't put much of my, uh, my latest stuff online. Um, I was, I've been drawing for the majority of my, my entire life, to be honest, even though I got into online gaming and uh, graphic design. And uh, if, if anything, I don't want to teach anybody how to draw because I don't think my methods are, <laughs> are something that people should, you know, people should implore in their artwork. But if not, it's just something cool for you to watch as far as like composing a sketch from, from ground zero and uh, getting a pose that I like, uh, sketching out that pose to the point of which I think like the perspective and the anatomy is at least tolerable, and then inking it as we're seeing right now. So uh, El Fuerte is one of those characters that before Street Fighter 4 was out, he had a really weird look. So I go back to the original uh, illustration of El Fuerte several times throughout this video because I think the only reference I had at this point of the character actually in the game was um, briefly playing the game at Comic-Con. It wasn't even out in, uh, in our local Japanese arcades out here uh, by the point of me making this video. There's also another uh, fully colored Rufus drawing um, I did after this one that I'll, that I'll highlight as well, but I didn't, uh, I didn't have a speed painting or a speed drawing of that one either. It's just, it's just the final piece of artwork, but that one I kind of like more than this one. Now, if you see what I've done here, I've kind of gone over the base coat, and I'm finding the uh, the raw colors. Uh, I'm not I'm not too big into color theory. I, I wish I had been. Uh, I'm not too great at coloring or painting imagery either. I just kind of like wing it and see how it goes. So if this looks a little rough to you, I'd imagine there are some other uh, expert digital painters that you can get much better information from. Here we go. I've got the base colors down, and I'm starting to go through the intricate details like eye color and all the little smaller stuff that is all over El Fuerte, and I'm trying to retain the the original color of the character as much as possible and not do anything kind of crazy because, like I was saying, this was back in 2008, and no one had really seen much of El Fuerte at this point yet. So, trying to keep it as, as true to the original artwork as much as possible. Um, I also keep a quick color palette for the majority of- the majority color of this character is his skin and I wanted to give kind of a harsh tone so if you look on the left there it just flashed by I have like a tone uh, a tone palette as far as, as far as what colors I need to refer back to um, in case I lose which color I'm using for shadows and there's gonna be a lot of mixing and blending for this one and I kind of uh, I'm a big fan of blue highlights on characters like a, a backlit blue so here comes that and um, yeah fleshing it out from this point on um, remembering where your light source is, or where I, where I chose the light source to be in relation to the mid-shade and then the uh, the brighter blue color on the other side, and me uh, always adjusting the, the channel color and the curves to make sure I get the perfect hue. So, from this point out, it's just, it's just pretty much rendering. Uh, rendering is something I've never been too perfect at. I've kind of just taught myself how to do all this stuff right here, but I never really found like a great method. Um, because to be honest, I haven't done much drawing since uh, since back in 2008 and maybe with the uh, help of this video if you guys enjoy watching stuff like this uh, I might put up some more video game artwork or video game themed artwork because that's pretty much the majority of stuff I draw I love drawing video game characters. I love drawing um, Some original stuff every once in a while, but I really like drawing my own creations of uh, of how other designers create their game characters and doing my own interpretation I find that to be a lot of fun and I have books upon books full of stuff that is uh, just like that and um, but like I was saying maybe if this comes down the line and everyone enjoys watching these kind of videos it'll give me a little bit of inspiration to keep uh, drawing again and getting some more illustrations and speed paintings for folks to watch if you enjoy watching it so if you uh, if you like watching this kind of stuff or enjoy seeing a, a the, the composition of a drawing in motion or just want to see more sketches that I do in general I'd appreciate it if you even want to see something specific of me uh, of me to draw it or uh, for me to draw then um, put that in the comments below too if I get enough requests of some specific thing then I might I might just do it I might spend some time and uh, go into Photoshop and go into Illustrator and paint it up for you guys so if you dig it comment and uh, let me know 
Looks like I'm getting to the very end of the El Fuerte art. If you see, I changed the line art color from black to uh, kind of like a darker color of what that base is. Like you see, it's a dark green outline instead of it was black. And um, adding in a little bit of the ink effects because this was kind of like, no one really knew much about the ink at the time. And I had a little bit of ink effects I used from a previous project and other Street Fighter 4 illustrations. So there we go. Here's the final image. Uh, it came out all right. I did it pretty quickly, but I was pretty pleased with the final um, with the final result. I'm always looking better to get uh, to work on the painting and the finer details and get better uh, painted rendering. But that's about it for El Fuerte. Let me know if you like this one. And as I was saying earlier, here's that Rufus image with done with the same uh, the same type of style as the previous one, like a heavy perspective, like the character lunging into the camera, uh, kind of similar to what the Street Fighter X Tekken uh, images are looking like right now. Those things are pretty damn cool. Um, but using using the ink effect to to full effect, but drawing characters like Rufus, like fatter characters, is a lot of fun because you have you have a lot more freedom as far as balance and weight and where you want to push the weight. But this one this one came out pretty good. I kind of like his face the most, to be honest. Um, he's pretty funny looking. And while we're at it, I'll take a little bit of a blast from the past. This is from a sketchbook, I think, from 2007, maybe uh, 2006. Uh, at the time, I had been playing Third Strike since early 2000s. Uh, I played that game for nearly nine years straight, and I don't think I've played any other video game more than I have Third Strike. Um, but here's a, here's a shot of Hugo, and trying to pull off a kind of a crazy perspective and accentuate how big and beefy the guy was in the game. Here's a brief little render of Q. Uh, all these drawings that I do in my sketchbooks are pretty much composed out of like red Bic pen, and then I go over them with uh, with a black pen afterwards to accentuate the line art. Um, so if they're not extremely detailed, they look a little rough around the edges. That's that's why these are these are straight out of my sketchbook with not much cleanup. And here's a Remy. Remy was one of those characters I thought was pretty damn cool in Third Strike. I just never got really good with him. Um, I always kind of liked his design. I thought he was kind of a badass. Uh, but here is my version of Remy. I think I made his head a little too big. And here's a quick sketch of a, uh, like a post-action shot of, uh, two characters from Third Strike. That's Sean on the ground and Dudley behind him. Sean was always a character that was kinda, that was always seeming like he'd be really fun to draw. He's, he's the goofy, uh, he's the goofy Shoto. While Dudley was the ultimate badass. I was never really good at drawing Dudley, but I wanted to kind of accentuate his, uh, his dominance with, um, with a perspective right here and I throw in clouds because I don't want to draw their feet. And last but not least is this little uh, rendition of Ken. Um, <laughs> like I was also saying, Sean was a Shoto character that didn't come out too bad, but man, I have a hard time drawing like Ryu and Ken style characters. It seems that I can never get the hips right. But um, yeah, if you guys if you guys enjoyed this, let me know. Uh, I'll definitely be interested in scanning some more drawings out of my sketchbooks and putting them online if you, uh, if you find them entertaining. But that's about it for now. Once again, thank you very, very much to the 10,000 plus subscribers of my channel now. I think we're almost up to 11. Uh, you guys have been extremely supportive, and all your comments, I, I swear to you, I read every single one, and I try to collect feedback as a whole uh, to see what you guys might enjoy. So, there's plenty more Marvel vs. Capcom 3 ranked matches on the way, and there is going to be plenty more stuff as far as Arcade Edition coming out very soon, and hopefully Third Strike Online, that's right around the corner. So, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.